G'day mate, welcome back to Desynced with me, Jenny. In our last episode, we did a couple of things. First off, we scaled our production. I'm always gonna have to keep scaling our production, keep scaling production until we have enough production that I could just request things and they just magically appear. Also, we started playing with behaviors. We got some automated miners up and running, also an automated explorer and a foundation layer. Very, very happy with the foundation layer because, um, well, I've been carpeting the whole world with foundation. That 20% movement speed really does add up. But today's episode, I wanna play with combat. I'd like to see whether we can automate that as well. That seems like something that I'd like to have taken care of for us. So that's gonna to be today's plan. But of course, before we get to today's plan, I need to ask a very important question. And that is, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. You're not happy with the video. You didn't enjoy the video. Well, you can have your like back. But, but if you're gonna have your like back, can you do me a favor? Hit subscribe instead. So with our quick recap out of the way, there's a couple of things I need to take care of. Just a couple of little housekeeping things. Uh, first off, as our little, um, well, our little dashes, our little dashes that are putting down foundation. I've now got two of them because, well, why not? If one does a good job, two should do a better job. Also, we can see there are foundations here, there and everywhere. They are definitely placing foundations underneath them and they're on the version 1.3 of the code because they got a little a bit of an update to check their battery because they'd have a habit of dying like in this area just between two power grids where they've put down the blueprint for a foundation but they haven't actually put down the foundation and if they're outside the power grid they're also outside the logistics network if they're outside the logistics network they don't come back in the logistics network to keep building foundations sort of a problem so uh we got that fixed up we got that fixed up we got that up and running uh also our little explorer bot. He's now on version 1.3 of the code. It turns out um, I had an issue in here with getting to move. Also an issue with um, forgetting to pick up the items. Small problem, small problem. But he is now up and running. And this one, which I was hoping to play with, is not going to work because, well, he's already um, finished. He finished his part testing the code. Uh, can I grab all those items? New storage devices still Take have damage. matrix. They can hold the info oh. in the data cubes. The similarity to our own technology means we can easily adapt our robotics factory to their production. You dead? Good. Pearbot, come back here. Cool. All right. So we've got a new data cube thing. Uh, can I bring the Explorer bot back? Uh, can I just dump that in there, that in there, and that in there? And then we can turn you back on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's the second thing I need to do. The third thing I need to do is I have a lot of a lot of robots, an awful lot of robots traveling back and forth, picking up like iron, iron less so, uh, crystal, definitely a little bit, um, sand, I can find you, oh, you buried yourself again. Yeah, move forward. Sand, an awful lot. I have uh, random bots, random bots coming over here and pick up the sand, which is fine. I don't really mind. And we did set up a couple of transport routes, but I want to do a little bit of a better job. So what we're going to do is unbind all those, unfix those slots, and dump you back in the network. Yeah, you could go join the network full of sand. All right, what I want to do is I want to set up some twin bots. Twin bots have a movement speed of three. Our dasher bots also have a movement speed of three, but the twin bots have four inventory slots, which adds up. Uh, so I want to get these guys a couple of things. I want to get a behavior controller. I also want to get them a signpost and I also want to automate signposts. So we're going to come to here. We're going to set you to signposts forever and then we can not worry about that anymore. Uh, so that'll be that. Behavior controller. Cool. And I want to not have unnamed behavior. I want a hauler program. I want a smart hauler with waypoints. Looks like we're up to version 1.2 of the code already. I'm analyzing the virus, and I think I found a way to protect us from it. We need to research a cure as soon as possible. Okay, I'll add that to my list. Can I finish talking about this first? Cool. Uh, all right, so this little hauler program, uh, it it moves to selected unit, being the source where we get the materials from. It picks up materials from the source. It then counts how many materials it has and compares that uh, that type of material to the results, which is going to write into P4. Uh, that's that code there. Then if it's not enough resources, uh, it's going to move about three tiles, about three tiles away from... Uh, the place where it's picking up resources from, it's going to wait. And then once it's finished waiting, it'll go check again. 
if it has enough resources i.e its inventory is full it's then going to go to the drop-off point it also has a waypoint at the other end okay and what i want to do is i want to set this guy up uh can i get a behavior controller and a signpost behavior controller signpost i probably should have just built a custom profile for these guys so they can just all come out the same time same way uh that one that one that one that one that one oh you're a entirely separate bot we'll deal with you in just one minute uh behavior controller and a signpost okay put that in there that in there that in there that in there that there, that there. That there, we can see this has already come from finding out in the world. And yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, there, are, you can code up some interesting things. Okay, uh, so if I copy and paste that, that will put the code on each one of them. And we need to set some basic items. So, current amount storage, total bot storage. I can set that. That is going to be 80 for all these robots because uh, they all have the same amount of storage slots. And that's all I can set identical for all of them. Okay. All right. First robot. You are going to be Crystal Team. Uh, so I'm going to set you, set sign, Crystal One Hall. Okay. You are going to... Oops. Item is going to be crystals. Uh, source is going to be him. The drop location is going to be over here where we keep crystals. The current amount of storage is a variable that he'll write in, and a waypoint is going to be here. So he'll wait just there for crystals. Yeah. And you should have crystal one hauler, which means this guy who was doing that crystal bot is going to get cleared. You'll set back to logistics and unfix all items and you'll go back to doing whatever it is that you did in the first place cool you uh you're gonna be so that's crystal team one you're gonna be crystal team two uh two or and same story it should be uh solve robot explorables well that definitely means our little bot is working wonders okay that's gonna be our source uh, our drop location is going to be crystal storage. Uh, current amount storage, we don't need to set. And a waypoint is going to be right here. And as you can see, he's going to wait right here till his inventory is full, uh, empty, and then he'll drop it all off. Also means that this guy, I can take out of logistics network. Same with this guy. I can take him out of logistics network as well. And I'll have somebody now called crystal two hauler, which will wander across the map. Perfect. You were trying to do crystal, right? Cool. Uh, unfix all slots. Uh, we're going to set you back to the normal network. We're going to clear that, clear that, clear that, and eventually you'll find somewhere for those crystals to go. All right, so I need to set a few more of these. Uh, actually, I need one more on top of that. Can I have one more twin bot? Yes, because I have four irons. One, two, three, four irons to do. Actually, we could probably share some of these. Uh, so this is going to be item iron it's going to be source will be variable drop location will be static uh current amount storage and waypoint will be the same copy paste 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 uh i need to set you to iron uh one hauler copy paste uh set sign to uh Three and four. And then it should be a case of iron one is that one. Iron two is that one. Iron three is that one. Uh, and copy across the waypoint, or the waypoint didn't copy. And iron four is that one. So go, 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 and go. That means no longer in the network. 
no longer in the network, no longer in the network, and no longer in the network. Okay, so then you just need a behavior controller and a signpost. You two are just hanging around looking stupid because you can, and you're gonna be copy, thank copy from you. Cool. Uh, you're gonna be sand instead. You're gonna have a drop location of the sand storage. You're gonna be sand, and you're gonna have a waypoint of here and set sign we're just going to change that to sand and it should be a case of point you at that robot instead go and are you stuck no you still have a free, few free slots so people can get in there and have a chat to you all right so that's the first thing i want to do second thing i want to do is uh, i want to keep expanding production so uh we have energized plates energized plates uh can i request in those if I type 60, will you work? No, because it's 20 per slot. Which is a little bit weird. I can only request in 20 of something, because that's how much they're stacking to. But I want to request in 60, so I need to... Uh, I need to actually set the item. So I need to request 20 multiple times, because I'd like to empty out this. Oh, there's more. There's more. Um, fine. Can I... Request that. And I can't request in 40 or 21 because that's more than a slot's worth. Yeah, uh, notify bug hole. Uh, that'll be our scout bot. Who's definitely found a bug hole. So, where are you? You've run back to base. Run back to base where it's safe. All right. So, that's the first thing I want to do. Uh, second thing I want to do is I want to clear out some old things. So we're going to set you a red signal because we can now mass deconstruct and we're going to copy, paste, 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 and paste. Also, I want to remove this build and this build and this build and that build because every one of these we can upgrade. Uh, research. We should probably pick next research. So the lady really wants me to get a virus cure. But I believe in very good, strong virus protection. So we're going to skip that and just not get infected. And instead, we're going to go for a viral turret and a crypto bit locker. Sure. We can do that research instead. Uh, now, I already have these ready to go. Uh, abort. And abort. And abort. Cool. I already have these ready to go. And it should be a case of copy, paste, paste, paste paste uh that should give the bot something to do whilst we continue on with different projects like automating combat you're set up correctly yes you have imports ready to go you have exports ready to go yeah so we should be able to just drag and drop these all the way around cool all right so that's the last oh no and we missed this one uh can i cancel those please cool. Uh, paste with those ones, uh, those ones. I bought that because for some reason I can't put a building. Oh, did you, did you just become, no, you didn't become a building. Yeah, copy and paste in this game is very dangerous. Okay. And you already have active requests. That should be fine. Should be fine. That'll give the bot something to do. All right. Whilst the bots have something to do, uh, I want a waypoint. Uh, I want to grab a stock standard cub because on a stock standard cub, I really want to put on another or all the components for another repair bot because I have a feeling we're going to need to do some repairs. Uh, all right. I have a dasher, a simple dasher who is going to search for friends of the unit type. So I don't care about the bug holes, I care about units. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to program a combat bot. Uh, can I put that in there, please? And can we put that in there? And can I get a behavior controller brought down here? Brought down here, please. Uh, we'll put our capacitor in that one. And behavior controller. 
Oh, actually, there's one, one other thing I want to do. Uh, we're going through solar panels. Solar panels and power poles and possibly batteries. Yeah, see, our batteries don't fully recharge. Uh, we might need to... Do, 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 do. That's a resource. I'm going to want that later. Meh, we'll build it in. We'll dig it out later. Uh, Abort. Okay, I want to take our solar building and here, and our battery building here, and cross, yeah, let's do the power pole building as well. I'd like to have a few more of those. Uh, can I get a, you need a radar, you need a repair module, and that's really all that goes on here. Well, you get a repair symbol. Uh, that one. Okay, where do we leave our repair bot? Up here. You, psst, come here. That's the signal reader. Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't want, actually. Uh, I want a radar, the other one. Do, 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 do. Uh, that can go in storage. That way we can find it later. Uh, that can go on there. You can also have a capacitor because it doesn't hurt. Okay, and paste. All right, so you're good to go. We have two repair bots. Okay, we also have a behavior controller on you and on you. And you keep finding something out here you don't like, which is that bug hole, so you keep running away. That's all right. Uh, can I put a capacitor? Nope. Uh, I prefer the capacitor actually one on a building so it did something. Well, in a building's internal slot, so it did something. Rather than just sat in storage. Uh, can I get a behavior controller? And you can also have a behavior controller because I want to write some programming. Uh, also, whilst we're at it, can I get another twin bot? Okay, so lots of notifications, lots of ore running out. We're, we're... Okay, fine, I'm trying to deal with the bug hole. All right, behavior controller, and we'll get to the other behavior controller. All right, so what I want to do is our laser has a range of eight. So I'd really like to keep our friends at a range of eight. Very, very important. That's our plan for this code. That's it. We're not going to make it too complicated. We just want to keep our friends far away. So we have a couple of options. We have... Uh, okay, we're going to have to move unit away at range. That's definitely going to be one thing. We then need to find out what I want to move away from. So select nearest... Unit A, Unit B. Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, branch space of which units closer. Optional branches for closer unit. Okay. That's probably not going to work. How about global? What do we have on a global? Maths, no... Get closest entity. Anyway, that works. I'll put that as not as A, because I want to be able to read these variables. If I put them in as a parameter, I can read them out. So then we're going to say, move away. Uh, move away. That's going to be the whole code. Whole code right there. That's it. Find something, move away from it. Uh, this is get closest visible entity which in our case, you have a visibility range of 15. So you're searching within 15 tiles. We're gonna copy our code to all of those guys. And then, bug hole, that bug hole. Okay, you found us something. Helps if I turn it on the behavior controller. Okay, you found us something. It is being set to Move away from the target at range zero. Yep, that is the opposite of working. Okay, uh, we're gonna go with a set number. We're gonna set value A 
or value one to number 10. And I'm gonna output that to parameter two and then input that back into our robot. Okay, so now this, can clear, 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 I can't clear, okay. So this should now be set to 10 and it does say move away at range, but he's definitely not moving. Can you guys maybe save him? Okay, he didn't even listen to me telling him to move. I'm afraid if you didn't attack the repairing bots, but okay. Uh, you can have a capacitor. Although that really helps you. Okay, so, uh, that code didn't work. It didn't do as we'd hoped. Okay, uh, let's try. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's try something different. Uh... Loop entities range. Performs code for all entities in range. Let's try that. Our range of 10. Filter for an enemy. The entity is going to be P1. Then we're going to say P1 uh, set number. We already know we need set number. Set number, uh, which will be P1 two range which we're gonna, they're gonna set to p2 that when they're gonna read back out so this should find something within 10 tiles of us within 15 tiles of us because that's our max max sight range send find something within 15 tiles of us mark it as an enemy send that out to p1 so we can read it to then bring it back in and physically set the number on it to 10 and then move away at range 10 hopefully okay so uh code is running if i hit tab again we get his sight range if i move you slightly closer we should see that it now says 10. so hopefully that means we move 10 tiles away uh can i get no oh no you it won't work. All right, fine. Use this bot. Put that in there and that in there. Oh, he moved. No, he joined the network. Why? Back in there. I don't want the behavior control on the thing because I don't think it's going to shoot back much. Okay. Not really moving away. All right, you have a radar. Have you found anything? If I just search enemy, does that help me find... It does. There's a bug hole right there. Okay. There's a bug hole right there. Chance others bugs. Uh, you. Okay, you are running our existing code base. I'm going to copy that to all your friends. Move you forward. Uh, you don't have a behavior controller. We just had a behavior controller. Uh, can I put your pastor in there and put that in there? Cool. Copy, paste. You also don't have a behavior controller. Uh, put that in there and request in a behavior controller. We found a friend. Okay. So he's set to range 10. Uh, go to here. And then cancel it. We're up to set number. Well, you're dead. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay, can I turn on this? So if I tell you to move here you don't really attempt to retreat still okay can i power can i put another power pole here uh high priority right so we still have options we still have options what we can do is we can do a wait wait ticks 
we set this to one because each one of these happen in one tick at a time. But we can also run an unlock. Now, unlock. Uh, unlock runs as many instructions as possible. We use wait instructions to throttle the execution. So we can run an unlock. Once we run an unlock, this runs about as fast as it possibly can. Like, like as fast as it possibly can. So we're going to try that. Do you have toggle extra options? There's multiple filters. I don't really need multiple filters. One filter is enough. Uh, okay, can I get this guy to move forward? Because we need to find our next friend. Because I have more code to test. Uh, paste, 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 paste. Uh, can you guys all move down here as a backup? Because I'd sort of prefer it if you lived. Just a little bit. Nothing. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit further away, but it should work. Uh, can I... G, so I can have grid lines. Uh, three, three, two. Uh, there I'll do. High priority. Uh, throw one over there. And we'll move you forward and... Three, three, two, there we perfect. Yep, yeah, because the further he is outside the grid, the quicker he starts discharging the batteries. And I prefer it if they were charged. Honestly. Okay, so you found a friend. You moved a little bit, and then you stopped moving. So this says that, that says that. But let's move away. What happens if I output that? Okay, what happens if we copy? That into the go to. Nothing. Okay, you're now targeting that. That's the problem. Okay, so we're gonna drop this down to range 10 and then hit the go button. then go to that at 10. That's probably not what we want. So we'll clear that. We'll run the code again. Not really doing a good job of running away. Just saying. Uh, can you guys all move forward as well, just so we can try and stay inside the power network? We need you to recharge, which means we'll take our next friend and we'll send them in instead. Because I don't know if there's more over here. Like, I'm hoping it has something else that'll pop out that we can say hello to. No. Okay. What else do we have? Move. Move to another unit whilst continuing the program. No. Um, move away. That's really what I want to do. And it's set to 10. And we see that it's set to 10, it's just not, it's not working. It's not, it's not doing what we'd like. Uh, can I get the radar dude? Uh, I would like to know if there's more friends out here somewhere. Uh, there's friends up there. Uh, we picked up all his pieces. Hey! Oh, a whole pile of bug holes. That'll be perfect. That is guaranteed to probably make us lose a bot or two. Uh, high priority. Okay. So. If we look at this code, we can see that it looks like it's here because this is running so fast, but it doesn't display. Okay, stop. Uh, 
Oh, you're a pallet too. Okay, I need to cancel the move to move to command. Move to there. I still got this line. Probably be better if you guys didn't walk into combat. Just putting it out there. Okay, this is all in the name of science. It's all in the name of science. Uh, that has the same code. We've come down to range 10. We're running on an unlock. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, copy. Copy. What we'll do... What does we do that? Well, in theory, that should clear his go to command. So if I tell you to go to there, uh, that does get cleared. But if I manually tell him to move around, it doesn't seem to get cleared. Okay, maybe we just need to send them in one tile at a time. So lots of little steps. Yeah, I can't tell him to pick up things because it's getting cleared instantly. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay. All right, so you see a friend, you're moving away, and then you stop moving away. <laughs> wonder if this is taking over. Um, what else can we do to change this guy's orders? Hmm, um, the running away part fails, and it looks like because this is taking over. What happens if I link that to there? That now says 10, okay. So, he's still standing right there, and face tanking. Uh, can you guys save him? Or run away, repair bot, run away. You don't have shields. Uh, you also don't have a heavy controller. Cool. Uh, what we're going to do, we were going to attempt to link that to there. Go. Okay. More scrap. Uh, Alright, we're going to put... Whoop. I have no idea where that went. Uh, we'll put that in there. We'll take that out of there. We'll pick up the behavior controller, which was running the latest code. Uh, which cleared the go to beforehand. We'll put the old one in there. Uh, what else do we have? A couple of lasers and more behavior controllers. Okay, can I bring that back? We'll put a laser in here. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're running out of resources constantly. I know. I know. Okay, copy that, paste that to this guy. You're our new test victim. A dummy, I meant. Yeah, not a victim at all. Just a, just a dummy. We just need somebody to test. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a free slot. You have a behavior controller in a lane in a power pole. Yeah, I don't see that being too advantageous. All right. Behavior control. Uh, you don't have a behavior. Uh, copy, paste, I guess. All right. So that's definitely not working. Um, of all things, like that, that should loop. That should loop anyway. Set number of P1 to 10. Set that to 2. It's finding an enemy. It's writing it to there so we can read it. Uh, it's then setting that number to 10 intentionally and then saying run away from that. That nasty thing. That nasty thing that's trying to eat our face off. So it ran. It just doesn't seem to keep running. Okay, that seemed to keep running. 
Now's the real test. You are running. Okay, paste and paste. Run behavior, run behavior. You're running. You should be running. You should be running. You are running. You are not running. Stop behavior, run behavior. Nope. Everybody else ran away. It's a start. It's a start. It's, it's, it's partially automated. Partially automated combat. All right. Give me a minute. I'm going to try something different. Something a little bit over the top. We're going to try and... um do a few more changes just just one second so it's taking some trial and error but i think i have a working combination i think i have a working combination for automatic combat all right so the most important thing is we start this behavior uh because that way we have a clear way like people will get out of our way we're in we're in combat mode also we're gonna link you to the combat leader that way you'll hang around the combat leader and you'll take care of the combat leader. actually you can hang around a repair bot yeah, you can hang around a repair bot instead. Cool. Uh, the repair bots. The repair bots, are same as we've had them previously, they just link to repair anything in radar range, and they've been told to link to the combat leader. Combat leader's important. We'll start with our scout. Our scout is our... Our scout is our information finder. Information finder. He has um some code. His code. Uh, his job is to look at the combat leader... Uh, tell if, find out if the combat leader is ready to go. If he's ready to go, we're going to clear out our signal. Then we're going to uh, search for friends. If we don't find friends, we'll scout for a little bit. And then we'll search for friends again. And then once we find a friend, we'll send, the, we'll send those details through to, well, the combat leader. Now, the combat leader... His job is to, well, make sure everybody has power and they're ready to go and everything else and then march everybody into combat for the grunts to take care of all the problems. Which also have some um, slightly more complicated code because they need to check their battery, they need to check their health, they need to do a lot of things. If you're interested in the code, it's, it's all technically on your screen right now. You know, pause the video or swing your post past Discord, grab a copy of the code. Maybe help us out and update it at the same time because I'm... Um, there's there's definitely edge cases where it fails but um it should work it should work so we're gonna start we're gonna first off we're gonna start our grunt code so uh these guys mass start behaviors they all go stand relatively near the combat leader uh do we have a new one we do have a new one copy paste uh go all right uh then we're gonna start the combat leader now we do have to manually link this to our scouts being this guy once we're done that, we can hit start button. And he's not going to do anything because the scout hasn't told him to do anything. We need to link our scout back to the combat leader. And then the scout shall scout for something to find to kill. Uh, and if he can't find anything, he's going to move around for a bit, scout for a little bit. Which is fine. It's fine. What I want in the long term is to automate it. But also for right now, I want to test it. So we're going to manually drag the scout over here who's going to keep searching for enemies and hopefully he finds some and we're going to be turned back on uh oh 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 so you found a bug hole you sent that signal back to the combat leader so the combat leader knows that there is a bug hole somewhere right there and because it's a bug hole it doesn't move he's then going to move somewhere within range of that the scout's going to sit right beside him and the combat grunts are going to go um, charging in head first. Yeah. Now, they did find something else to play with along the way, and that caused them to retreat. The problem is um, they've got less room to retreat to because we've moved too close. But, you know, they found something. They found something. They'll go deal with that. These guys are not full health, so they're going to hang back, and they're going to hopefully get a repair. The biggest problem we're going to have is if I turn on that one... Uh, and then press P so I can see power grid. I oh, know I'm still in the power grid just. Just. Okay. So they're retreating. Doing a much better job of retreating than, than what we had originally. Code is way more complex, don't get me wrong, but they're doing a good job. And now they've been told to attack this. This this is their target. 
if they happen to find something else along the way, which is what the, the, the turret is doing automatically, then they'll go attack that instead, which is one of the problems I was having with Myco. The, the, the turret found something, so that would redirect them. Now, the biggest problem we have with these guys is when they want to outside the power network, well, then things start to break. So our scout's off scouting again, which is good because he can't find anything within this range to shoot. Well, that's a base. No, enemy, enemy. Okay. So then we found a glitch bot. Now, the glitch bot is definitely a fault in the programming. The, pro the programming is going to fail at this point because he's told everybody to go attack the glitch bot. But, uh, combat leader. So combat leader says glitch, glitch bot. But that just went out of radar range. So now we can't see it. So now everybody's lost the signal. Nobody can see where it is. So it fails. So the only way to fix this is... Uh, get visual lock on it. Whilst the robots try to run away. Come on, visual lock. Visual lock. Visual lock. Visual lock. Yeah. As long as they have visual lock, uh, they will charge over here and kill this. But they need to have visual lock. It's, it's a fault in the code. Uh, so far, we can get upgrades later on. Uh, we'll fix the problem. Uh, also, technically, you guys sit one tile too far out of range, or a couple of tiles too far out of range. Because, well, we're normally attacking bases. Okay, so you're going to move back. Uh, where's our scout? Our scout is here. So you're going to move back. You're going to do a wait and a check and make sure everybody's healthy and ready to go. They're not healthy and ready to go at all. Uh, okay, you're going to do a check to see if everybody's healthy and ready to go, so to speak. The problem I'm going to have is this. Uh, power. I don't have power out here. Um, now I have a single battery that we're discharging, which is stored in the combat leader. Uh, it's already half discharged. And power-wise, uh, we generate 365. Okay, now I'm not sure how we generate 365. I do know 100 of it is received from this guy, this guy. I found a power transmitter in one of the ruins, so we whacked that on a building so I can transfer, the, transfer uh, transmit, transmit. Transmit 100 power to this network. Well, to the combat leader, who has a power pole, which will then share it around. So we have some power. Stop. I don't have a lot of power. And if we look at the network, it's going to be slowly draining. And most of our power generation is actually from, well, batteries. Batteries. Uh, batteries and capacitors. Yeah. So uh, the biggest problem I have with this current build is, well, a lack of power. Now, I could string a whole pile of power poles back to you know where and, and, and be fine like that. But I think that's a problem for the future. Or we could grab this research, which lets me make power transmitters. And then I can just beam power to the team at all times. It does require cable and the Walter White special, which we've just mass automated. So if I turn these on... Yeah, uh, that's probably a viable option. Uh, but also probably means I want to have another crystal mining team. Uh, but also means I also need to leave this episode here. Because in theory, although maybe not perfectly, but at least partially, we have automated combat. Like It might not work all the time, but it works most of the time. And for right now, I'll take most of the time. Uh, you can go back in the logistics network. You carry radar with you for all I care. Uh, yeah, we've we've automated automated combat. We've also automated a whole lot of laying foundations. Uh, oh no, you have a whole bunch of crystal. Is crystal not our problem? No, sand's our problem. Uh, because well, we got chased off this plateau. That's right. Uh, we now have automated combat. We can send the combat team up here to deal with this problem. And hopefully they can heal a whole bunch of stuff along the way. But yes, I need to leave this episode here. Uh, as always, if you're interested in the behaviors, come speak my past my Discord. Also, if you're help, uh, interested in help solving some of the bugs with the code, by all means, uh, catch me live on the weekends over on Twitch. I'm streaming dis uh, streaming decent an awful lot. And, well, we're trying to work out the code issues there. Anyway, 
I need to call this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.